So our previous and consequently first time of ever reviewing a PXG product on this channel was iconic for this exact reason. Or James Robinson could grow a foot overnight, making him three foot two. Let's grow and let's stop, grow now. Stop, 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 oh shit. wrong clip. For us to review any more PXG equipment on this channel, I require 4,000 thumbs up. Well, guess what? Oh yeah. So thanks to you guys and your awesome engagement, we continue on our PXG journey. And today, it's the Gen 4's turn. So we're not gonna beat around the bush, okay? This driver has its flaws. There are flaws in this golf club. One of those flaws isn't performance, okay? That's, that's delicious. Yeah. So, hello. We have, as a community, 24 hours. This helps the video, by the way, quite a lot. If we can get 2,000 thumbs up, all you have to do, thumb up. 2,000 of them in 24 hours from when the video is released. Next week, we go out the golf course and film this on the course. You have my word. Let's go. So in the Gen 4 range, there are three heads available, but today we're only gonna review one of them. We've just gotta decide which one. So first up, the XF head. Maximum forgiveness in the Gen 4 range. Who doesn't want maximum forgiveness? We all do, we all need it, don't we? Let's be honest. But I'm just concerned that this is gonna be so straight that we aren't gonna be able to visit Brenda on the left side of the fairway today. And the rough is gonna gather cobwebs. And then we've got the X, which is like a combo of forgiveness and speed. Sits right in the middle of the range. An all-rounder, one would say, which may just get me a toe on Brenda's patio furniture. Or we go for the XT head. <sighs> Lots of speed and distance. <sighs> nah. But that does mean we could fly into Brenda's cabbage patch and I could then go and retrieve my golf ball like this. I think that's right. What a statement. <laughs> hmm, tough decision. Can we just pretend that I'm trying to think about which one to go for? Just for one second? Which one do we go for? Where's my ball, Brenda? I don't know why it doesn't feel right. <laughs> the setup I have here, if it was cheese, it would be extremely tasty parmesan. Unbelievably flavoursome, but could be slightly overpowering for some. But it gives even the most boring person food, food. But it gives even the most boring food that little extra edge. What? Warm up. Where am I going? Warm up 337. Okay. So the 0811 XT, the 0811, the 0811, the 0811, whatever you want to call it, it's here. And we've got it in seven and a half. With the option of knocking this down a degree and a half on the loft sleeve at the end of the video, could this be the Sim 2 killer? That's, that's delicious. <laughs> Sounds great. Robbed us of a 340, 339 second shot. So in PXG terms, you could say the previous release, the price was pretty reasonable. This one, yeah, this is gonna set you back 77,000 <coughs> yen. It's a lot, isn't it? In US dollar terms, we're looking about 549, I think, RRP. Bit on the old toe side, but this is what you're gonna get with this sort of setup. Pure bombs, forgiveness, <laughs> not so much. Three, 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 effortless, effortless. That was at the heel, flying lovely still. 
Loving the sound and feel, I'm not going to lie to you, even in here. You know that manufacturers will do anything for a bit of weight saving? Well imagine my surprise when I looked at the top of the crown and thought someone had knitted the top of it. It's like they made this shell of a driver and then thought, you know what, we'll stick a woolly jumper in the middle of it. Funnily enough, this is actually carbon and I don't like it. Just saying. It's like we've got this traditional PXG vibe and then that. That's my opinion. This, you could argue, gives the crown something. You know, it gives it a little bit extra, but I really like PXG's approach of that midnight blacked out kind of vibe. But the important thing for me, what do you think? Comment down below. From a address standpoint, do you visually like this little carbon section in the center? Practicing. Kids make the Ronaldo celebration look so cool, but when you're an overweight 30 year old, just don't get the same vibes, do you? Oh, I don't mind that though, a little heel hold off. So even though I've said visually this is not my cup of tea, this is quite a cool story of this hybrid crown. This knitted, I mean carbon section in the center, reduces a lot of weight, lowering that CG, increasing MOI. Then on either side of that, you've got a titanium heel and toe, which stiffens the whole structure of the head. I want to like it so bad, I really do. To be honest with you, I can kind of look past all this when it performs like this. <laughs> We've got a very fancy sounding robot polishing. Fancy. This creates a very precise face thickness and curvature on the face, which delivers maximum performance across the entire face, offering spin correction on the common miss hit areas. When you get that one out of 4007 out the center, it's very rewarding. It makes me actually want to do it again. Hopefully at some point we will. That's, that is extremely solid numbers. Two five on the back, 315 carry, 336 total, ball speed of 178. Not much wrong with that. <laughs> That's in play as well, isn't it? Poor Brenda. It just wouldn't be a new driver with that high speed face, would it? There you go. High speed face. And this is PXG's, a TI-412 titanium alloy face, which in a nutshell offers a springy effect across the entire face. Not trampoline though. We're not allowed to say that word. Naughty word, trampoline. So I've actually got a Diamana here. I do miss Diamana quite a lot. I don't feel like you see it in the stock shafts as much anymore. I used to have a really, really nice with a little roses at the top, a whiteboard. Well, this is the Diamond Black Limited 60 X Flex, and I'm really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. That was a bit poo. That's not. <laughs> 340. Looking at this, this has done everything it said it would on the tin, especially this. Which, if the other end of the scale with the XF produces more spin, is more forgiving, this could be the most versatile range of drivers this year. That's Sim 2 spin, but overall numbers wise, you can't really complain. This is usually the lecture time where I go and tell you to go and try it, but I think you know now. Um, I didn't take PHG, be completely open, um, very seriously to start with. When I first heard about it, I'd be like, yep, they'll be around a few years, they'll be gone. How wrong was I? <laughs> Here we are, hitting this driver, which is as good as anything, to be quite honest with you. Good as anything, and you know if you're in this price range. If you're not, don't even bother. Um, but if you are in this price range, stick it in with the other ones that you're going to test. It's definitely worth it, and you may be pleasantly surprised. Um, hopefully we've got some big bombs to come, but thank you as always for watching. Don't know what to do without you, to be honest. Not much, not much would happen, would it? It'd be an action-free channel. But uh, you're carrying this. I'm doing nothing. I'm just being the absolute prat, as usual. <laughs> yes. 
If you're not a part of Team Mail, guys, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'm live streaming on Twitch. And if you want to be a greater, bigger part of the Team Mail Discord, I urge you to go link below and join our Discord. Meet a lot of like-minded people. We have a lot of banter. We're there for each other. It is a great place to be. So I would like to see you there. Cheers. We're going to bomb a few on the range, get some music cranking. Yeah. And then we're going to transition to a hole to see what we can get out of this and whether we hit the golf course with the ball or it lands on Mars. Possibility. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a big left to right, which carried the best part of 320. Right, we don't want that one back anytime soon. It's just probably lacking a bit of launch, but it's not lacking much else. Three, four, nine. Okay, 324 on the fly. A bit more zippage though. Three, four, six. Well, look at that for a drive. Acceptable. That's a 330 on the fly, 180 ball. Right, you don't want to shake many sticks at that one, that's 357. 354. <sighs> He's teasing me. Stop it. Course management. Can we cut it back? Sars. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Very easy to control. That's like partially uphill. Be good. That's me done. Potential. Potential.